Okay, now we're going to go and draw the true shape of the cutting plane. To start that off, we need another XY line, and that XY line needs to be parallel to our cutting plane that's indicated here by VT in our front view. So we're going to go using our set squares, and we're going to go and make sure that we draw in a cutting plane which is going to be parallel to that VT, and I'm going to get it just away from my front view and draw in another XY line there. I'm going to label it and then I'm going to take just the points of the cutting plane those three points there and I'm going to project them over that XY line but at a 90 degree angle. Okay, so at the moment my XY line is there and I need to make sure now that each of the lines projected across that XY line are going to be at a 90 degree angle to the cutting plane and the XY line that I've just drawn. So to make sure of that I'm going to go and place my set square, my T square directly on my cutting plane to make sure that I am now parallel. Okay, I'm going to remove it just slightly so that I can see I'm still parallel to that cutting plane then place my T square, my set square on top of that and I'm now going to project each of those points over my new XY line holding tight to make sure that that T square does not move so that the lines that I'm now projecting are perfectly 90 degrees they must be 90 degrees to that XY line then I am going to go and take measurements from my top view to each of the cutting points that I have. Okay, so I'm going to go and measure over here, this cutting point here on, point, on line EC. Measure that. We said that was 31 millimeters away from there. So we're going to go and measure on that cutting point on line EC. And we're going to measure off of there 31 millimeters. We're going to mark that off. Then we're going to go to the next next cutting point in our top view here. Of course, that's two points, so we're going to measure those. This one over here is 25 millimeters, and this one over here is 40 millimeters. And then I'm going to take that up off of the line that's projected from it in the front view, and I'm going to go and mark off 25 and 40 for those two points. I'll then go back to the next two points down that line, which is that point there on my cutting plane in the front view. If I go down to my top view I can see that that's two cutting points that I have to measure. So I'm going to measure the first one there. That is 17 millimeters and then I'm going to measure the second which is 47. Each from the point to the XY line. And I will then go from my XY line again. I'm going to go and measure off 17 millimeters and 47 millimeters to plot my last two points and then I simply go and join those points up using a dark line And that then gives me the true shape of my cutting plane, which I then also have to hatch at a 45 degree angle, as with all the others, to go and complete the view. And there we have it, true shape of our cutting plane.